Galnet News Update, 9th of December 3308. Engineers Liz Ryder and Zachariah Nemo have released the first of their new range of enhanced AX weaponry and have announced their third campaign within a week to manufacture additional models. The enhanced turreted AX multi-cannon is available at all the rescue megaships stationed around the bubble. These size 2E and size 3D cannon are available for credits. There is no need to unlock them from a tech broker and they are available to everyone. They have a much higher projectile speed than previous AX multi-cannon, as well as slightly more damage per second. The higher projectile velocity will be extremely useful for fixed mount weapons, and perhaps that's why today's new initiative is for just that. If there's enough support, then by next Thursday, new medium and large fixed mount enhanced AX multi-cannon will become available at all the rescue megaships. That initiative is active at Bok Orbital in the Rue Shill system. The other active initiative for a turreted enhanced AX missile rack is at Awai Referable in Eurybia. It seems likely that there may be further initiatives from Ryder and Nemo for further AX weapon variants in the coming weeks. In other news, progress against the Thargoids is still extremely slow, but it does seem that in at least one system, HIP-23716, there's a reasonable chance of forcing the Thargoids to retreat. All progress towards repelling the Thargoids gets reset on Thursday mornings, so it's vital that all the activities that contribute to defeating the Thargoids in that system have contributed to a full progress bar by Wednesday evening. HIP-23716 may be humanity's first victory, but it's by no means certain, and there are many other systems where we're not yet even trying to confront the Thargoids. The battles will be hard, and the war will be long. With better weapons, and in due course a better understanding of the Thargod's objective, it can still be won.